Jeremy Cowan, founder of Smallest Brewing Company, and he's here to kick off the New York Beer Week with Freaktoberfest here at the Rock Shop in Brooklyn. So, Jeremy, I want to thank you for taking the time and uh, talking with us here for the beer sessions. And, yeah, so tell us a little bit about your involvement with New York Beer Week and how you got this whole Freaktoberfest event organized. Uh, well, I'm going to take a sip first. <laughs> Yeah, first things first. Um, so yeah, we started. I started Schmaltz Brewing Company 14 years ago in San Francisco. Um, we've been brewing in New York for seven years. Now we have two brands under our uh, company. We've got all the Hebrew beers and all the Coney Island craft lagers. Um, we started this Freetoberfest festival three years ago with some good friends of ours here in the neighborhood. Beer Craft, uh, The Gate, um, uh, Pat now works for Smutty Nose. Um, also, Mikey Palms, DJ Mikey Palms from uh, Public Assembly and South Hall in the neighborhood here in Brooklyn, and uh, Schmaltz Brewing Company. And so we thought we wanted to bring together some of what we thought were our favorite, uh, most innovative craft beers from around the region, around the country. And actually, we even have some people that have come from around the world. Uh, and what we want to do is present the best craft beers in the country in a very fun, very rocking, good time. So that we can remember, on the one hand, Craft beer is supposed to be incredibly delicious and special. It's unique. It's about passion and artistry. At the same time, it really is supposed to be fun. And so that's what tonight is about. We've got a handful of our favorite rock bands from Brooklyn. Um, we've got a kazoo band tonight, which should be really fun. Um, we've got burlesque dancers, some of the best burlesque performers from New York City. Um, we have uh, the MC of the Coney Island Circus Sideshow that we work with is Donnie Vomit um, from Coney Island, USA. I saw him out there. Yeah, he's great. And so he's going to be kind of emceeing the evening's performances, and we'll have performers from the Coney Island Circus Sideshow as well. Now you mentioned making it fun. And I look at the shirt that you're wearing, Geektoberfest. I mean, you guys are great at the promotion, and you know, a lot of the artwork for your beers is you know, above the par of like most other companies. So you guys are doing a great job with that. Thank you. Tell us how you stay ahead of the curve. Matt Polachek is my um, art director. He's here tonight. He lives in Brooklyn, and he's created all the visual landscape for Schmaltz Marine Company. Um, he does all the Hebrew labels. He does all our graphic design. Uh, his buddy Dave Wallen is a tattoo artist here in Williamsburg, did the illustrations of the performers for the Coney Island Circus Sideshow. And, um, you know, we've just been having a blast with all of the creativity that we can bring to it. And lucky for us, we just got awarded our first ever uh, medal at GABF. At Great North I North heard Festival. about that. Yeah, that's so, congratulations. Thank you. I'm pimping that out a little bit. And uh, I also just finished my first ever book. So uh, we, I wrote a book called Craft Beer Bar Mitzvah. And it's, I wanted to ask you about that. Tell us a little bit about Craft Beer Bar Mitzvah. Uh, it's, a, it's a small business memoir. It's basically 13 years of uh, making the world's first and only Jewish celebration beer, adding in a bunch of uh, circus sideshow performers, and traveling around the country trying to sell the stuff. And, um, it's, it was a, a crazy, it was a very difficult, uh, very um, personal project, but I'm glad it's done, and now we're going to start letting people buy it, and it will be available on our website and uh, Amazon, and, you know, a little bit of the high books too, so. Yeah, that's great. Now, how does, your, how does your religion come into play with the brewery at all? Yeah, well, I mean, the whole point for Hebrew is that I wanted to create a, a way for me to celebrate my own Judaism and my sense of text, tradition, um, culture, history, in a, in a way that I felt was compelling and meaningful. Um, so people say, oh, it's, it's so you know, irreverent, and I say, well, it's using humor to try to tie into stuff that I take very seriously, whether that's tying into holidays, um, uh, Rejuvenator ties into the Jewish holidays in the spring and the fall, it's a harvest to harvest seasonal, but it goes from Passover, which traditionally comes after the barley harvest, to Rosh Hashanah and the high holidays. Um, where the second fruit harvest usually happen. And so there's usually a depth to the meaning that I get a kick out of being able to celebrate, um, research, and come up with a bunch of fun punchlines. Hopefully people really enjoy the beer as well, because I'm pretty proud of it. I wanted to ask you now, Miller Coors just recently acquired Anchor Steam as well as Magic Hat. You know, and I wanted to get your take on that, You know how you feel about uh, some of these larger breweries now starting to acquire what used to be you know, some of the big names in craft beer. I think that's going to happen more and more. It's, it's not something that hasn't happened already. I mean, when Red Hook and Widmer um, got brought into the Budweiser distribution network, and the same thing with Goose Island and some of our favorite breweries, 
that's fine it, as long as they keep the quality of the beers high. You know, our biggest fear as a tiny little craft brewery is that the big breweries will actually realize they can make good beer and they have the money to do whatever they want in the beer world. So they currently throw around, and one of the things I had fun writing about in the book is they're throwing around a lot of bullshit about how the quality and the flavor is some type of differentiation between their, their brands, which we all know is a lie, and they know is a lie. If they would just stick to kind of sports and, you know, TNA and, uh, and you know, I don't know, cartoon animals, then it's totally fine. So if they're going to step into quality, just like we would expect from any big company, if, if Apple all of a sudden starts putting out really cheap BS products, we're not going to think of them as a high quality manufacturer. This is an example of a, of a pretty mediocre quality manufacturer with the biggest corporate beers in this country trying to get into artisanal um, products. And they can do it. It's just brewing. They just need to do a better job of making the product, using better quality ingredients, keeping the batch sizes a little bit smaller, and using their uh, integrity instead of their marketing muscle. Don't give away all the secrets. Or, I mean, it's like <laughs> it's pretty easy. It's, you know, it's not like they don't have a hundred barrel system. I mean, they, you know, Sandlot Brewing that makes Blue Moon. They love to call themselves craft beer, but it's not true. I mean, they're not craft beer. They're made by the set, the not the fourth largest brewing group in the world. And it's just weird to me that they don't just admit, hey, we're trying to make better beer. They will say, this is a whole separate entity that we have nothing to do with, when all of us know who is involved. And all of us seem to be okay with it if they just admit what they're doing, and then either do a good job or a bad job, as opposed to, kind of, oh, well, you know, Miller is triple hopped, or Coors is the coldest beer in the world. And uh, that kind of stuff is just problematic because it's just the usual advertising lies. That's part of American culture. We should all call bullshit on it, but, uh, you know, beer drinkers and especially craft beer drinkers, I think, are a pretty savvy group and like to read and like to think and like to talk a lot of smack. So it's a good combination for us. It's small, small breweries so who are doing uh, what I think is just better quality and doing a better job of presenting it honestly and with integrity. So keep up the good work and uh, we'll let you get back to it and you got a big night ahead of you. So thanks for joining the beer session. It's Jeremy Cowan, the owner of Schmaltz Brewing Company on the beer sessions and uh, welcome to Brooklyn's third annual Freaktoberfest. Okay. Check out New York Beer Week. Don't miss all the events. There's a lot of great pairings, a lot of great uh, different events going on. So just be sure to uh, check it out if you're in New York City.